All right, everybody, I'm about to embark on my John Wick trilogy journey, checking out the John Wick movies for the first time. I'm excited. So thanks for joining me for my John Wick reaction. Let's get into it. Now, a buddy of mine said that this is the best action movie of all time, so we're about to find out. I'm excited. <laughs> what? Getting right into it, eh? Oh. See, now this is how you start a movie, right? I mean, I have so many questions already. Is his lover. He's looking at a video of his lover before he dies. Whew. That's a cold open, but I like it. I guess this is going to be one of those that's going to lead up to how he got to that point. Either that or a lot of time has passed and he's healed, but he is in love. Oh. Did she faint or did she literally collapse? Oh, okay. No, she did. So what, they run a date out at the docks and then she just falls over and dies? Unexpectedly? That is friggin' traumatic. Is this gonna be a dark movie? I'm getting those vibes. I mean, what a dark start. Even the, the tint that they're using over the screen here, this blue, dark gray tint is like just making it sad and dreary and we're starting off with a lot of drama here. Oh, and I need to mention, if you want to watch the full-length Raw Cut reaction that's available on my Patreon page for people who sign up over there, you'll need your own copy, but you can sync it up with the timestamp and watch along for the full thing. Oh, he's watching. My condolence. The Green Goblin? I keep asking why her. Don't blame yourself. What are you really doing here, Marcus? Just checking up on an old friend. Wonder, is he going to play a villain in this, like the Green Goblin, or is he actually a friend? <laughs> he's just such a good Green Goblin villain that... I uh, can't picture him as anything else, but he looks like he's just shut off from it all. Like he's not overly expressing uh, much emotion. He's just kind of processing it. You still need something, someone to love. And now that I have found my peace, she find yours. She had an illness for a long time. Mm. Now he's finally breaking down and showing some emotion. He was just cold this whole time. Could be what he needs to get over it. Good. Some companionship for while he's grieving. <laughs> I'm up. Oh man, when you try to sleep with pets, you can't get any sleep. Hey. Oh. Right. <laughs> right, he's like, oh right, dog's gotta poop. His mind was elsewhere. He's dealing with a lot, I guess, you know. No, you're not making up a bowl of cereal. I've never tried to give a dog cereal. Does it work? I guess dogs will eat anything, won't they? Not like a cat. Cats are pretty picky. Ooh, it's the guy, buddy, right. from um, Game of Thrones. I don't remember that character's name, but... What's that? Beautiful car. How much? <sighs> Excuse me. How much for the car? Oh, I tried to buy it off. It's not for sale. Why weren't they sucking yet? Ooh. <laughs> what did he say? Everybody's got a price, bitch. Good day, sir. Look at that, that's like the young thug who thinks that like money can buy everything and how dare you not take my offer, disrespect me. And this guy comes up and he's just like, keep your cool now. Like he's obviously the more intelligent one of the group. What is he doing? Going out on the tarmac. Letting her rip, boys, let's go. Does he still have the dog in with him though? He's gonna freak out the poor dog. Blowing off some steam, is he? Okay. Do what you gotta do. Man, he's aggressive, look at him. In the snow plow. What kind of clearance level does he have to be able to get on the base like that? <laughs> to get out there and do that kind of things. Okay, well, whatever. You need to go. They're taking their time. Oh. Whoa. Friggin' home invasion. Is that the same guy that wanted the car? No, 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 no. What did he do? He knocked a dog out? Did he really track him back here just to get his car? A bunch of thugs. Yep. Okay. Is the dog dead? Oh my god. Dude is gonna be broken now. He just lost the love of his life. 
right? He's grieving with that. He's got to go out on the tarmac, friggin' ripping the car on the runway in order to blow off steam. He gets this dog. He's just starting to build a bond with the dog. And some thugs come in, beat the tar out of him, mess up his house, and kill his dog. All because they wanted his car. Dude is gonna snap. John Leguizamo? Okay. I said it before. I know him from House of Buggin' back in the day. That old skit show he used to do. I want a new VIN number and some clean papers. Would you get that car? Dude, he looks freaked out. Look at him, he didn't even change his shirt. He don't care, he's just going out with a bloody shirt on. Oh, he knew right where to go. He's in here. He's pouring a drink. <laughs> That's why, he must have recognized it. It was. I asked you, where the hell did you get it? Who gives a shit? Vigo, son. All right, get out of here, just get out of my shop. Get out right now. We you. own you. We own you. Wait, what did you say? What did you say to me? You don't know me, punk. There you go, you tell him. father, all right? He sure himself f***ed up his dog. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Come on. Now you, you kill me right now. When you get the out of my shop. Oh, 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 he's got some balls on him. You got a pair on you, old man. Yeah, exactly. What'd I say? You got some balls. Lost a big client there. Vigo, who's that? Like the kingpin of crime or something? What's John Wick's backstory? The fact that that guy was just like... Oh, I don't know. This is awesome. I love the way this is building up. I heard you struck my son. Oh, this must be Vigo. Because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and killed his dog. <laughs> That's a big deal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's enough reason to not get himself killed. It was a valid reason to punch his son, it seems like. Oh, I guess he deserves it. Who is John Wick? He must be a legend. He's going to have a conversation with his son. Congratulations. He can't celebrate. Sir. He's got John Wick on his mind. Have you seen my son? Or how he's going to discipline his son? <laughs> Have you seen my son? <laughs> I don't know what. He's got something coming for him. In the words of Russell Peters, he's going to get a hurt real bad. <laughs> oh, getting right in his face. This guy thinks he's on top of the world. I think his father's on top of the world, not him. <laughs> I'm getting some tough love now. So I stole the f***ing car. <laughs> He is so pissed he's trying to keep his cool. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. Who? It's John Wick. <laughs> I love that he's like a legend, apparently. <laughs> Yet we don't know his backstory. I don't know what job he does, anything about him, like whether he's ex-military or something. Even the big crime boss there is just like shitting his pants over it. We called him Baba Yaga. Jeez, he was the doing? one you sent to kill. Boogie man. <laughs> That's a cool quote. Look at that. That young guy looks like he shit his pants. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. With a pencil? <laughs> oh, he stole the wrong car, buddy. And you killed the wrong dog. He asked to leave. It's over a woman, of course. He asked to leave, so he was a part of what? He gave him an impossible task. He used to work for him? Bodies he buried that day laid a foundation of what we are now. Wow. <laughs> a few days after his wife died, he steal his car and kill his dog. Only a, f only a few days? John will come for you. What is he doing? He had something buried in his house? Get the f out of my son. Ooh, he told his son, just get out of here. He's like, he's coming for you. There's no oh, look what he's got. There's nothing you can do. John Wick is coming. You're as good as dead. And he said it to your own son. John Wick put the fear in him. What is that, gold and guns? Hello, John. Let us not resort to our baser instincts and handle this like civilized men to move on. Oh, he won't even give him a word. Just hung up on him. He's trying not to show fear when he's around John, he but he's terrified of him. Enough. Oh, enough. Yet he said nothing. Task your crew. How many? How many do you have? All of the men. <laughs> Just a quick intermission as I'm excited to announce my first official sponsor for the channel. What I'm holding here is called a movie palette. Each of these stripes represent a dominant color for a specific scene in the movie, all arranged from left to right in chronological order to show the movie on a canvas. They have a huge collection to choose from, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park, and countless more. Plus, if you don't see it there, they can just custom build it for you.
If you're looking for a unique gift for that movie lover in your life, be it a holiday or special occasion, then you can't go wrong with this. For example, if your first date was a movie, then get that specific movie palette as an anniversary gift, or hang it under a movie poster to add even more effect to your theater room. I'll have the link to the movie palette in the description below. Be sure to use the code NUFI15 to give yourself a 15% discount. You'll help support this channel and let them know that NUFI sent you. Ooh, what tattoos has he got? Cross, prayer. What is that? I don't speak the language, so I don't know what that says. If anybody wants to comment down below and let me know what that tattoo means in English so I can understand what it says. Take the children that don't behave. Like Bobby Yaga takes the children that don't behave, or the boogeyman or whatever, and uh, his child did not behave, so... Baba Yaga. There you go. You're gonna come after him in his own house? He's got home turf advantage. Whew, how many skills so far? Five? Six? Now what's his hand-to-hand -hand skills like? Pretty good! Judo toss! Man, the awareness and perception he's gotta have. By God, in a dark environment like that, they're wearing all black, he knows where they're at. Woo! Whoa, whoa! This is friggin' awesome! He don't play, he don't miss. His hand-to-hand -hand skills are amazing. See why he's the legend. Man, these action sequences are good. They're not cheesy in any way. They're like friggin' badass. Oh, 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 he's gonna bend a knife out. Oh, he switched hands. Nice try. Oh, they're really dragging this one out. Oh, he's hammering it down. <laughs> Whoa. What is it, the friggin' police? And he's got a gun behind his back. Uh, officer. <laughs> I swear I can explain. Evening, John. Noise complaint. What is he looking at? Can he see it? Oh, there's blood splattered all over his face, and there's a friggin' body on the floor. You, uh, working again? Even the cops knows of him? I'll leave you be then. No, what? Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> what is that? Seriously, even the cops show up and be like, they know of him. And the fact that whatever he is, he's a... He's like, he's got bodies in there, he's covered in blood, and they're just like, okay, we'll leave. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for 12. Oh, he got his gold. I don't think you can pay at a dinner reservation in gold, though. Oh, Good oh. to see you, John. Who's this crew? Waste disposal. They're the cleanup crew. You just got to make a phone call and a cleanup crew comes? Wow. You got connections. <laughs> they work fast. Goodbye, Charlie. Ooh, yeah. big stack of gold. Put a contract on John Wick. Two million. Two million? English. There you go, please. I think if he's working for him, he'd uh, learn the language, right? I have a job for you. I want to offer you this face-to-face. -face. Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? After all, you were close. Consider it done. Oh, really? He's got Marcus, the good friend of John Wick. He could probably get close to him and just put a bullet in the back of his head or something. Ooh, everybody got their guns. Man, oh man, who's this guy? Another legend, is he? Ooh, he's packing a sniper rifle. Not even gonna risk getting close to him. Just take him out from afar. Hello. Thanks. Ladies. Good seeing you again, John. They have a pass. Room eight eighty. You can pay in gold coins. Okay. Ooh, I like it. It's like a nightclub, is it? Underneath that uh, hotel? What goes on down here? Didn't he say he put a contract out for two million? I guess John don't know that. Hello, Winston. Winston? Yosef Terasov. I'd like to talk with him. A talk? <laughs> He's like a talk. Are you sure you don't mean kill him? You got out once. Reaches out and drags you back into its depths. Okay. Where do I find him? He don't care. He's like ready. He's got nothing to lose, man. You don't care what reaches out and tries to grab him back into it. They're willing to break the rules of Continental. Double the bounty. Four million to break the rules. What rules? The bounty hunters have rules? They're up to four million already. Wonder how big that bounty's gonna get as the movie goes along. How is life on the other side? Far better than I deserve. I've never seen you like this. Vulnerable. Ooh, he's vulnerable. Red circle. Oh, they tipped him off. Discreetly tipped him off. Ah, oh, I like it. 
Wow, they got a lot of surveillance up. Money shot! There he is. Little does he know, friggin' John Wick, the Baba Yaga, the Boogeyman, the Grim Reaper is coming for him. Security looked tight though. Holy crap, they got like, they said on every floor. But I guess this is John Friggin' Wick we're talking about here. Oh, my job is to keep the boys safe. Are you scared of the boogeyman? But you should be. I think he's pissed. The security detail is pissed that he's got to keep him safe against John Wick. Ooh! Is that Kevin Nash? Mr. Vig. Oh no, he's stuck up on him. Is that Kevin Nash? It's hard to tell. Why don't you take the night off? Thank you, sir. I might get a better look at him, but if I don't, comment down below and let me know if that was Kevin Nash. I was a big wrestling fan back in the day. Big Daddy Diesel. Oh. Oh, really? Watch out, I'm gonna kick you right in the tenders. That's dead. Did he drown him and break his neck or both? Oh, he's got eyes on him. All clear, and then a second later. He gets shivved. Oh, jeez. Look at him just making piercing eye contact as he watches the life leave his body. <laughs> he is the boogeyman. Oh, the moment a gunshot goes off, that's it. Okay. Uh oh, that's enough commotion, though. They sounded the alarm. All right, boy, let's see how good you are with that gun. He could have took the shot, but he weighed it. Big bodybuilder guy. Oh, <laughs> he don't mess around. Two to the chest, one to the head. Pull it on the gun. Oh, buddy. Is he going to be able to loot him? Get away? Man, these action sequences are amazing. John Wick is reminding me of the friggin' Punisher. I just realized I got the shirt on. That's who he reminds me of. That's why I love it so much. Ooh. Punisher is one of my favorite comic characters of all time. That's why I'm hoping that a Disney got him. They don't mess him up. Because this is the kind of thing I want to see in a Punisher movie, right? But I don't think we're going to get that. Ooh. Either way, this is John friggin' Wick. He lo oh, he shot him in the foot! Oh. <laughs> to get him to come out from cover. Ooh, they don't even fade away half the time. This shows all, all of it. Point blank gunshot wounds. Oh, whoa, oh. He's still on the run. He's having to take out so many, like so many levels of security lie between him and his target, but it don't matter. Oh. Oh. Oh, did he need two? No. Oh. Did Jonas take two shots? Oh. Oh, he's going to get away. Come on. No. Friggin' no. Oh, John got to be wearing a vest, though, is he? Underneath that suit. Oh, the punk. The young boy's getting away. These fight scenes are amazing. Nothing seems like choreographed or fake, you know what I mean? Just brutal. Oh! Oh! Look at him. He's all bloodied up now. Victor's dead. Oh, he is Svayasana. Everything's got a price. <laughs> Putting the fear in him. You can run, but you can't hide, buddy. Man, he must have took a what? 20, 30 henchmen there? How good's your laundry? <laughs> no one's that good. <laughs> no. Blood stains is one thing, but holes? So the hotel has a doctor on staff. Definitely some kind of a shady hotel, obviously, with the whole underground nightclub and... Oh yeah, he's out stocking the markets, right? Oh, is he gonna snipe him while he's in the hotel room? While he's freaking asleep or something? Oh, he's got line of sight on him too? Uh oh He took a snapshot instead of take... No, what? <laughs> hey John, that's the girl from the bar. You're gonna tear your stitches. Guess you can't worry about that right now. Breaking hotel rules. What's the rules? Oh, when you're in there, you're not allowed to try to kill anyone or what? Okay, she's pretty damn good, it seems. I like it. Oh, okay, I don't think we're going to be answering the phone. Oh, Kimura. No, reversed. 
Okay. Man, she's a good hand to hand fighter. Okay, here we go. Taking her for a ride. Oh. You have received a number of grievances from your floor yeah. concerning the noise. Oh, the noise complaints. Sorry. Somebody's trying to murder me. No, he's going to take her out. She deserves it. Perkins, no, you're a very selfish person. You're gonna spill the beans. Little Russia, church, your kin of court. It's where Vigo keeps his private stash. Ah, okay. Oh, is he gonna kill her? Oh no. Oh, she deserves it, but you know, maybe she learned her lesson. Mercy, another one. Hey, John. Hey, Harry. I'll do you too with that. <laughs> okay. Hey, He's not a bounty hunter. You keen on earning a coin? So he's going. This church is a front, hey? Okay. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> this is where he keeps a stash, eh? Vigo will kill me. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, so will I. <laughs> Carefully, don't lock you in there. Ladies, out. That's the first thing I would think about. But he'd slam the door and lock it again. Keep you trapped in there. What do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. And he just walks away in slow motion with the fire behind him. I love it. Treat all your ladies like this? You are no lady. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, oh, she just broke her finger. Harry, is it? She's gonna try to slip out of the cuffs. You've done business on continental grounds, and management does not take kindly to that sort of behavior. No, poor Harry. No, don't. She is cold. I like that guy. Freak sakes. So the coins are like some kind of valuable secret currency then? They're obviously more valuable than just that amount of gold because money seems irrelevant to people. But the gold coins are like a big deal. Man, there's no end to it. No end to the amount of goons. That's just the head of security guy. He's still alive. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he just got smoked by that vehicle. They're gonna capture him. Oh crap. I think they would just put a bullet right in him. Call it a day after what he's been through. Take no chances with John. That's the downside of being a villain. They're always so egotistical that they think that they're untouchable. You know what I mean? The shore has broke the mold with you. <laughs> Look at him, he's all cocky now. Yeah. Look. Do you know what was in that world? But the leverage I had on this city. Oh. Audio recordings. Priceless! <laughs> I don't think John cares. I think his girlfriend and dog and was priceless too. Ah, uh, then you got married, huh? Settled down. Oh, he actually married. It's not a girlfriend. Oh, you managed that anyways. Yeah, while well, you had your wife, I had my son. God took your wife. Oh, careful what you're saying now, buddy. You're cursed, you and I. On that, we agree. <laughs> he feels cursed. Give me your son, Baba Yaga. Oh, mocking him now. Fucking car, just a fucking dog. To my just. dog arrived on my doorstep. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. That's how he viewed it. Need to grieve on the law. Stole that from me. Kill that from me! Woo. I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> so you can either hand over your Brilliant. son or die screaming alongside him. <laughs> he don't care. Look. Oh my. And he's not even going to watch him die. Oh. Right to the bitter end. He was going. He's taking him out because he wants to. He wants the contract. What now? John Wick is up. Look out. Oh, friggin' armor. John ain't losing hand to hand fight. Not happening. Double axe handle. He's got a fight on his hands. This guy knows how to fight. I gouge. Ugh. Ooh. That's it. You're out. Look at that choke. I don't know the name of that one. Look at him. He saved John Wick. Now the question is, did he do it because he's still he's an actual friend and he's looking out for him? Or because he wants the contract for himself? Whoa, is that the vehicle he's in? What's he got? 
friggin' shotgun. <laughs> Look at this. Cool it, cool it, cool it. Oh yeah, cool it now. I have your word then if I tell you where he is. You let me walk away. Your word. Pull the contract. Done. Oh, he's willing to do it. He'll pull the contract and give up his son. 434, Wallace Place. Ooh. They know you're coming. Oh, he got his word. He kept him alive. John Wick is a man of honor. His word means something. From Vigo's point of view, the son made the bed. Now he got to sleep in it, right? He's listening to like better music. Oh! Well, well, well. That safe house is not very safe now. Not with John friggin' Wick. <laughs> Ooh, I think he got him this time. Yeah. Oh, right in the guts. Not gonna run very fast now. There's the boogeyman. That's what you get. Oh, no words at all. Just end it. Just like that. No negotiating. No, hey, uh, I can give you money. I can, you know, no. Oh, what a phone call. Let your son do it. You picked your life over your son's, you know. A parting gift from the management. What is it? A set of car keys. Okay, a new ride. Kind of like his old one, but that one's still cool too. That's it. Mission accomplished. He can go home. The question is, can he start another life though? I don't feel like he can anymore. How many times do I have to save your ass? So you look terrible. No, I look retired. That's not the face of somebody who's retired. Oh, right. She's still on the loose. She's still coming for him. It's time to go home. I guess he was looking out for him, watching his back. But Vigo's going to be pissed if he finds out that Buddy was actually watching his back instead of taking him out. Oh, now I think Vigo's going to off him. Yup, look. What is happening? Why so formal with all this? Marcus betrayed me. He had every chance. We'll be still alive! Oh, we're going to beat him to death. She knew about it because of the sniper shot, I guess. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Don't give a fight. Oh, oh, cool. Sad to see him go down, but he, like, he went out on his own terms. Yeah, he's not going to get tortured to death. Oh, John heard all that. Friggin' John, now he's going to be pissed. He's like that one friend that had his back. He took him out out of rage. Oh, John ain't done. Vigo, you screwed up now, buddy. How do you get the location? I apologize for calling you after this hour. Just what he needs to see now. Anyone who tries to help John gets getting taken out. All right, how we're switching gears now. Vigo got her working as protection. Oh, what? Your membership to the Continental has been revoked. By thine own hand. Oh, so you're no longer a part of the bounty hunter. Oh! <laughs> and the cleanup crew steps in with a tip of the hat. I, I thought for sure she was going to be like this main kind of conflict villain now for John Wick and they'd be like having another round two. Certain helicopter, a certain helipad is being fueled. That guy there is in charge of the hotel, is he? They broke, she broke the rules, she killed or did attack somebody in a hotel, then the hotel took matters in her own hands. Well, I didn't see that coming, I thought for sure that she was going to be like a main nemesis. But he just tipped them off, John knows right where to go now. Trying to get to the chopper. Is John going to let him? Doubt it. God damn, I knew he'd come. Look at him. He don't even care anymore, that guy is that, he's half in the bag himself from drinking so much. Somebody give me a gun. Who's that a gun? Oh, you're gonna need more than a gun, buddy. You just sent the hundred people at him with a gun. Didn't make a difference. That guy don't even carry a gun. Ooh. Oh, T-boned hard. Okay. Ooh, you need some bulletproof glass in that thing. Oh, I love it. He runs him over and he shoots him through the roof before. As he's rolling over the top. That was badass. I've never seen that before. Get out and run. That guy should do something. Just sitting in the car. I need a gun. I need a gun. It ain't gonna make a difference. Good luck. Good luck. 
Dude, Vigo's just going to sit in the car and accept his fate by the looks of it. This guy's not. He's making a run for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, is he going to push him off the docks? Jump, 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 jump. Too much for that new car. Oh, he's over by the chopper. Is he going to make no it away? Guns, dog. No more guns. Oh, he wants to take him with his hands. That's personal. Do you really think you can take John in hand to hand? Oh. Testing his range with a jab. Oh. All right. Epic slug best to finish this off. We were professionals. Civilized. He keeps bringing up civilized. Yeah, I don't think he's civilized ever since he killed his dog. Oh, come on, no more bullets, but you're gonna bring a knife? I expected no less from him. I was actually expecting him to pull a gun. No! Oh, classic move to take a hit to give a hit. Oh, he did it to break his arm! Oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna headbutt him. He took a stab. I guess he guided the knife to a spot where he knew it wasn't lethal. Or he maybe he didn't care. Oh, either way. Friggin' epic. And they're just sitting there, staring at each other. He's seeing you, Dom. I'll be seeing you. Be seeing you. He's got stabbed in the upper friggin' clavicle area, didn't he? Or neck? I don't know. <sighs> You're done, Vigo. I'll be seeing you, he says. Look at him. Man, he went through hell and back to get his revenge. But he got it. But like they say, the revenge don't fix anything. You know, I doubt he's gonna feel any better. Right, the opening scene. He's just bleeding out. Watching a video of him and his wife on the beach. He's gonna make it. Because there's a John Wick 2 and a John Wick 3 film. Where is he at? Oh, he's at a vet clinic. Oh, he's gonna patch himself up. Okay. Ooh, the dog whimpering. Bringing back some memories. Let's go. He's gonna take another dog. It's not the same dog that his wife gave him as a parting gift, but he got another dog in his life. Sweet, merciful crap. Okay, I heard that that movie, like I said, was one of the best action movies of all time. And I can see why. Those action sequences were friggin' amazing. I mean, nothing about them seemed cheesy or fake. They were brutal. They were just amazing martial art displays. Everything about it. The plot was awesome. You didn't know where it was going. Friggin' everything about it. 10 out of 10. Loved it. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of it. I will be getting on to number two. Watch one of these things while you're at it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.